Paul here again with Gate City Picker. I want to go over a lot of Matchbox Hot Wheel cars that I bought um, this weekend at a yard sale. I uh, want to go through with you, uh, mostly because I just want to show you what I bought. I think the process of why I bought the lot, and maybe some of you could help me identify some of these cars. I'm not real versed on stuff like this, so um, you know we'll all learn together. First, I'm going to talk about a little bonus item here uh, before we get into the Matchbox stuff. I bought this Easton baseball bat. It's an Easton Stealth, and it is a BST9. Um, it's a 34-inch bat, 12, 12 ounces. Um, I bought this bat with a few others, and when you average out the price, paid $7 for this bat. All right, It's kind of in new condition. It still has the plastic wrap on here as well as it still has the original price on it, $2.99, so it's a $300 bat, right? So the reason I want to talk about this bat is I bought it Saturday. Um, I actually posted this, listed this uh, last night, uh, that would be Monday night. I posted it at 10 o'clock, and within 10 minutes, I've got three offers. I posted it for $199.99 because, you know, as you can see, it's not in all that great condition. It's got a little nick right there in the composite. Not bad. I just pictured it, put it up there. Uh, within 10 minutes, I got three offers. Uh, they're all for just about the same price. One for $185 or $190, somewhere in that price range. Um, I decided not to take any offers on it. Uh, left it uh, left it up overnight. I woke up this morning, Tuesday morning, to 16 total offers. Um, that's the most I believe I've ever had. It's about 16 total offers. Now, a lot of them were auto declined because I use the auto decline feature. But uh, still, 16 offers. Um, the ones that did come through, the ones that it sent to me, uh, were for 185 and above. And I got about four of those offers. Um, I didn't accept any of them. I kind of just like, well, I only have had this posted short time. So I'll leave it up. Uh, leave those offers because the offers stay there for a good while. So that's what I did. I let it stay up. Um, about noon today, uh, somebody bought it for full price. So less than uh, 12 hours. Uh, well, I guess it would be a little more because it'd be 10 o'clock last night, 12 o'clock today. So yeah, that okay. Yeah, that is more than uh, 12 hours, about 14 or so. But who's counting? Anyways, sold it for full price, 199.99 plus the shipping. So keep an eye out for those bats. Look them up. They're, use this number right here. Got your Easton, which is your brand. And if you see this, a number like this, this BST9 number, that's the number that you're going to want to look. You're going to want to look Easton, BST9, uh, or whatever this number is. A couple other bats have different numbers. But that's what you're looking for right there is that number. Okay, here's the lot I got. Um, it consists of, you know, this box, which has got, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, about 15 items in it. And this box here has got uh, maybe 20, 20 or so items in it as well. So uh, it's a big lot. Um, I paid $30 for this whole lot. Now, the reason I did that is because I actually went to this uh, guy's yard sale before. And I bought um, a, probably a whole 56-gallon uh, tub of Hot Wheels Matchbox stuff from before. And I only paid $20 for that lot, but I've already made about $55 on that lot already. And I still have stuff left over that's still posted. So that's why I felt uh, confident uh, about buying this lot. Um, so I'm going to go through this one, uh, uh, go through it with you, and show you what some of the stuff in the lot is, and uh, see if we can find any cool stuff. All right, first item we'll pull out of here. Uh, looks like we got a NASCAR. Um, doesn't have a Hot Wheels or Matchbox brand on it, but some sort of NASCAR one. Uh, Kenny Irwin. Let's see if we can find a year on this one. Um, see a year on it. There yeah, well, so that's our first one. Our next we got, let's see, here is uh, Jeff Gordon. 
Jurassic Park ride. Um, car, let's see, this one have a year on it. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't see a year on this one either. Huh. Well, that's what we got. First one there. Next, uh, oh, look, another Jeff Gordon one. Here's another NASCAR. <laughs> now, this is all not NASCAR stuff, so stick with me. I'll find some other stuff that's not NASCAR. This one looks like 1997. All right. All right. First non NASCAR here. We've got a Matchbox uh, Premium Collection. We have one of 25,000. This is a 57 Chevy. The guy did say that he was a uh, 57 Chevy fan, so uh, a lot of this stuff's going to be 57 Chevys and also uh, Nomads. So hopefully we dig in here, we'll find some Nomads, but that's pretty cool. I think there's a couple like this. I can recognize this package. So, oh yeah, right here. Here's another one. Another 57 Chevy Matchbox Premium. So what's the year on this one? This one have a year? This one's 96. What was this one? Did we see? That one's 95. So, pretty neat. I think if I got a, a few of these, I might just lot those up. It might do pretty good as a lot. I'm not sure. All right, uh, here it is. Looks like another 55 Chevy. So this is, this doesn't have a maker on it. Another NASCAR one. Uh, this one is from 98 here, as you can see. So, I don't know, maybe if I get a bunch of these little NASCAR ones, I'll lot them up. Let's see what we got here. This is a uh, Hot Wheels 40th Anniversary uh, Thunderbird collection. So, it looks like, oh, I thought there was paint coming off. That looks like a rubber band. Yep, that's like a band to hold the hood open there. I thought it was paint coming off or something. But no, that's just a rubber band coming off there. Uh, let's see year. This one's 1996. So that's pretty neat, huh? That's cool. The so box got a little bit of damage there. Uh, go up. Here's our first Nomad. Hot Wheels Classic Nomad here. What Does it have a year on it? Um, it doesn't have a year of the Nomad. But the package year is 2004. Another NASCAR one here. Got uh, Ricky Rudd. I know that name. I've heard that name before. Not that I haven't heard of Jeff Gordon before, but Ricky Rudd is one I've heard before. Let's see here. This one has a dated 98 on it as well. Coca Cola. Coca Cola one. Matchbox. Uh, which one is this? I think I have some from the other lot that I got from the same guy. Just like this. Um, maybe I'll plot those with that other one. So, let's see here. Does this have a year on it? I uh, don't, the year's not jumping off the package here. Uh, 98, it looks like right there. Alright, here we go. Another NASCAR one. Uh, we got a name on this one. Uh, Tony Stewart. Yeah. I didn't know he drove another car other than that uh, Target one. Shows you my knowledge of NASCAR. Uh, but, uh, Ravel, and they, don't they make models? I guess they made uh, toy cars for a while, too. So does this have a year on it? Jumps off here. This is 98. It's not all that old. So what do we got here? Racing Champions. Another 56 Nomad here. Her. That's a pretty thick package there, huh? Uh, it's got a little sun damage here. Looks like it might have been exposed to some sun here. Um, so we got a year on this one. Uh, not jumping off. 98 right there. So, I don't know. Let's see here. Another Racing Champions Hot Rod Magazine. So, this one's pretty neat. Got a year on this one. Uh, it says 96 hot rod right there with 97 down here So I don't know if I'm dating the cars right by looking on the back of the package Like I said, I don't know all that much about stuff like this. Uh, 
I know enough to get myself in a little bit of trouble or take a little bit of risk to see if I can get a lot of reward. Oh, here's another one of those Matchbox Premiums. Oh, this one is a Jaguar. So, what do we got here? A year on this one. I don't see. Oh, 95. So I think I'll try to keep these ones together. Oh, got a big set here now. Uh, we've got just a uh, car wash exclusive. This just looks like some run-of-the-mill cars. Nothing special. So this is a complete set. Looks like the guy took the sticker off and damaged the package a little bit here. So, well, it's pretty neat. Let's see what else we can pull here. There's a old Walmart sticker there. Wow, anybody ever seen a Walmart sticker like that? Or when's the last time you saw one there? So this is a 55 Chevrolet. So this has a 1986 on the package there. So I have to set this one aside, look that one up. That one's kind of the, so far, the oldest one of the bunch. All right. Well, right when I say that, I pick one up that says 1980. So package has got some wear on it. That's an old Kmart sticker. So what is this? This is a 57 Chevy. So metal bottom here. So pretty, pretty neat. I'll just set those two aside. Okay, another one of these hot rod magazine ones. What do we have here? We've got a some sort of Chevy here. Um, not sure. Looks like some sort of. Uh, I don't know the year of that one. Again, not a car guy either, so I can't tell years of cars by looking at it. Got a year on this package here, '97. So here's I'm trying to keep maybe these Hot Rod magazine ones together. Maybe they'll be something. So this one will go farther up. All right. All right, um, looks just like another 57 Chevy, Hot Wheels, probably not that old, 1999. Right. Got some big packages here, so we'll see what here. Uh, looks like Matchbox Coke, got a bunch of different Coca-Cola, uh, what, that's a uh, Beetle, oh, some sort of convertible, another one. Big old van with big old knobby tires on it. That's kind of neat. So this one got a year on it. Uh, 99. There it is right there. So, I'll keep that right there with that one. Uh, let's get this over here out of the way. Uh, Alright, another big set here. Uh, oh, got a little package damage here. Hot Wheels Skateboarders. So that's pretty old woody there. Something like that. That's kind of neat. So we got a year on this one. This is 2000. Um, another big set. This is 50s Cruisers. So got a motorcycle in it. Um, a year on this one, 98. One more big pack in here. Well, it's got a see through to the back here. So we're gonna find a year while I'm looking on the back side here. Nope, don't see a year unless it's down here on the bottom. Um, this is 96. See right there, a little focus on it. There it says 96. This is a uh, Street Machines Matchbox set of five. And last one in this box is a, let's say, Johnny Lightning Custom Classic uh, 56 Chevy. I think I heard that uh, NASCAR guy say something about uh, Johnny Lightning's being maybe a little bit better. I don't know. Maybe I wasn't listening all the way. Uh, this one says 1996. So, Johnny Lightning Custom Classic 56 Chevy. All right. All right, so I'm going to put all this stuff away and uh, open up the next box. There's another uh, tub over here.
get into that one. So we'll be right back. So we've opened the other tub. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, another 57 Chevy convertible matchbox. I uh, got a year on here. Let's see, 97. Uh, another 57 convertible. Um, probably another 97. Nope, this one's 98. So, pretty neat. All right. Another, looks like 55 Chevy. This is a Hot Wheels one. The other ones were Matchbox. If you caught that, uh, 96. Let's see here, Matchbox. 50s across America here, birthday series. So 55 Chevy Bel Air. So I paid, or somebody paid $1.96 at this at Kmart. So we got 2000 Hot Wheels here. Looks like a Nomad. 75 cents at Kmart whenever it was bought. 2000. Another Hot Wheels here. Um, I ain't like any Nomad I've ever seen before. So, if Nomads look like that, I might actually buy one. What you got here? 2001. Another Nomad here. Hot Wheels. This is from, well, we usually where the date is, it's not there. Okay, 2001. Oh, we got some cars that are loose. We'll go we'll probably hit those last. All right, uh, Racing Collectible. Looks like another, some sort of NASCAR series. Bob Wellborn. Don't know who Bob Wellborn is. Probably maybe before my time. This is from 1993. It's got a date printed on the box. Again, I don't know if that dates the car or not. I'm just showing the dates that are on the box. So hopefully, maybe that says what the packages were or the cars were made or something like that. All right. Oh, got a dual pack here. All right. Uh, Brendel's. I think that was a department store. So, suggested retail, and then they got the retail, 99 cents. So, somebody got a deal. Oh, uh, what year did they get this deal? It says 1994. All right, another Hot Wheels here. Probably to 1998. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do, all these ones, these, uh, you know, 55, 56, 57 Chevys that are this Hot Wheel ones. I'll, I mean, I'll check them. Of course, they got barcodes. So once they're from 2000, I'll probably end up just lotting all these little she these Chevys that are all the same. The Nomads, all those. Maybe make a lot of Nomads and then make a lot of 57 Chevys. All right. Or, or not just the 57s, but whatever the Chevy Bel Air looking type ones are. Oh, this one's got a little Taco Bell in them. Probably some sort of Taco Bell handout. 1999 is what this one says. There's a couple of you on there that say that. Looks like there's a set of four. I wonder if there's any more in here. I don't see one any right off hands. All right, 55 Chevy. A year, 96. A little package scuff there. All right, got another matchbox here. Looks like he tore the cover there, pulling the sticker off. 57 Chevys, uh, number four. Maybe that's the fourth series or fourth in the numbers series. I, I don't know. Uh, this is from 1995, it says. What well, says 95 and 96? So um, got a, a pictorial here of a playset or something. Maybe it goes with a playset or something. All right, just a bunch of uh, singles here. Then there's some loose stuff next. Another 57 Chevy here. I don't know if it's anything special. 97. 
another one. Two thousand. This one says Steel Stamp Series. Maybe that's some sort of special edition. I don't know. Again, I'll, I'll look all these up individually. 1994. Again, if you know more about this stuff than I do or see something that's uh, extra special in this set or series or, or things I'm showing you, you know, let me know. Put it down in the comments down there. Also, too, if you want to buy something from me, say, you know, remind you of something or, you know, a car you used to have or a family member used to have, you know, let me know. We'll work something out here. Uh, you can email me at gatecitypicker at gmail.com if you see something that you like. So that's got a different little graphic on it. Say there, oh darling, I just know you can win the race. Win the, win the race, that's what it says. Mm, 99. That's kind of neat. Uh, here's another one that's kind of got the same thing. Maybe I'll keep these two together and lot these two together. They look like some sort of series or set they go to, except this one's got a set of four on it. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, there's an, another one here that's kind of like these two. Let's see here. Well, it's kind of like it, but but it's got that kind of that same as this other one over here. So maybe that's some sort of set there. Maybe I'll lot these two together put that other one with the other ones so this one is from 98 all right just a few more to go in the package and then we'll got some loose ones in here all right there's a nomad so oh, maybe that one goes with those other three is there a fourth one in here we have what we got here we've got uh, got three or four I thought I had done okay. Four, four, two of four. So we got two, three, four. Oh, do we have number one? I wonder if we've got number one in here. No, don't look like it. All right. Got us a another. What are they calling this one? 2001 first edition. 57 Roadster. That's kind of strange looking Roadster. If I've ever seen one. And what this one, 2000. All right, last one that's in the package, and then we got well, five that are out of the package. 57 Chevy again. So, and 1991 is the date on this one. All right, so the first one I grab out of the package here. Let's see here, this one has, I know you look on the bottom for stuff. So. It says 1976 on it right there. I don't know if that means that this card was made in 96. That is a plastic bottom. It's not metal. However, the car is metal. But this is plastic. Or, so. At least I think that's plastic. So. Huh, I don't know. I'll have to look that one up. I we'll wonder why this one's out of the package. Uh, well, this one looks kind of old. This one says 1976 on it as well. So wheels are kind of in a, a little bit of rough shape. That is the metal bottom. Metal car. Oh, uh, got a little racer one here. This one says, again, 1976 on it. Hmm. Truly can't mean that these cars were made in 76. That would make these things older than me. I ain't telling you my age. Alright, here we go. We got a nomad here. This one says this one says 1969. Hmm. That's that truly is a car made in 1969, which I suspect it's not. I suspect that, that maybe this saying this is a 69 whatever car this is. I don't know. Help me out here, guys. If you know something about these cars, about this date down here stamped on it. And the last one. Um, this is an all-plastic car here. Um, this one says 1978. That's more like my age right there. So, but this car is all... Oh, I guess this is metal. Yep, that's... Uh, yep, that's metal. Bottom is plastic. So, 
This one's a Hot Wheels. 1978 Malaysia. All right, guys, that's what I got in that lot of Hot Wheels, Matchbox, NASCAR type things. Um, what do you think? Uh, again, I paid $30 for all of this stuff. Um, at least that's counting. This is a you know a dollar per item. Uh, I do kind of hope to see that I at least if I sell them all for a dollar piece, I'll get my money back. But you know, of course, in our game, just making money back is not what we're looking for. We're looking to make a profit. Uh, it is promising because, as I said before, I bought a lot from this guy's yard sale. I think it was about a month, month and a half ago. Um, spent twenty dollars in and have. Uh, after the you know taking out what I paid I'm you know fifty dollars up on that lot so and I still have a bunch of that stuff left too so again if you know something more about this stuff especially these ones right here that say 69 and 76 on them you know and this one says 78 um, also too um, I don't know uh, I think uh, I think I've seen some YouTubes about people repairing these you know are they worth getting repaired does it you know add value to them to get them repaired because this one's kind of dirty missing paint uh, i don't know so again on the bottom there uh like share subscribe all that good stuff hit the bell uh, that way you'll be notified of uh, all our videos when we post them and we'll see you in the next video bye bye are you still here bye have a good night